Money, money, Monday. Hey, happy Monday. It is time for Money Monday, a uh, spring cleaning edition. Cody and I have been deep cleaning our house. Cody's out here cleaning the garage right now. But today we're gonna talk a little bit about why churches do FPU. Hey Cody, yes. we get asked a lot about FPU and why churches do it, and if it's just kind of a ploy for churches to get more money because Dave encourages tithing. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we do get asked that quite a bit, and I love the way that Dave talks about this um, in the giving lesson. He talks about how the church really doesn't need your money. That's not what the tithe is about. Um, and brings it back to the Bible, that the tithe is about trusting in God. It's about giving the 10% trusting that God will do what God needs to do with that. Um, and then a financial peace itself is really just about freeing you up to be able to do what God intends you to do with the resources that he's given you. Um, so it's really about financial freedom for the individual first, then for their family, and then to be able to live and give like no one else. Some churches are going to have like bad motives with FPU. That's just what it is. Some people just have bad motives, but most do not. Most just want you to learn how to be generous with your money and how to be able to give that money freely so that you can help other people. It's less about helping the church and more about helping other people in general. So if you have any questions about why churches lead FPU or what FPU is, be sure to let us know. We'd love to cover it on a Monday Monday. Have a great day.